This episode is sponsored by Q Sports International, The Billiard Encyclopedia, and Fist Holsters. Janet, it's Kelsey. I need your advice about something. Recently, Anne and I have become really close friends and I'm gonna go see her tonight and I was thinking that maybe I should tell her about me and the cop. Why not? Well, I feel terrible about it and I just, I just want to get it off my chest. Okay, fine. I'll talk to you later. Hey, Tommy. How have you been? I've been good, Ann. I see you're playing as well as ever. Well, I guess so. Thanks. Brings you around. I have big action with this guy named Kevin. Samantha set it up, and I don't know how he plays. Why so worried? I'm betting real high. I never heard of the guy. Hmm. Come on, Ann. You live in this place. You gotta have a wire on him. In fact, I heard he does something real funny with his bridge hand. Like what? He puts the cue between his first two knuckles. Like a sucker. Well, what does Samantha think? Samantha thinks he's a fish. And he's just looking to throw money away. Well, I don't know about that. I think Samantha knows what she's doing, but nobody likes to throw money away. I spoke to Steve, and he thinks I'm in a trap too. 
How much money? Probably 50000 to start. <laughs> wow. Well, you know me. I would need to be a lot more sure about something before I did that. But you can certainly afford it. Yes, I can. But like you said, nobody just wants to throw money away. Is the game all set up? Yes, it's set up for about 10 days from now. And I just don't want to be the sucker. I've never heard of him, but I've always thought Samantha was pretty cool. So you're just gonna have to follow your gut on this one. I guess. You know, Anne, I really liked the time we spent together. And you know I could have given you anything you wanted. Anything I wanted is not what I needed. After all this time, you still don't get it, Johnny. I don't come with a price tag. You know, when Howard called me the other day, he said something kind of funny. He asked me where my boyfriend's been. Really? Why would you even listen to that psycho? I guess you're right. Cheers. Cheers. Remember that time when you beat that guy and he broke his cues? Oh my god, what an idiot. Why are they so stupid? I don't know, I guess uh, they don't like losing to girls. <laughs> like it's the worst thing in the world. Like I can't play at all, right? Right. You're not supposed to beat them, right? Ever. I, I don't know how that hurt me, <laughs> breaking his cues. Like is it that bad losing to a girl? I guess to him it was. I mean, <gasps> how can he lose to a girl? <laughs> 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 no, you're not supposed to play because you're a girl. So, I talked to Trisha the other day. big mistake and it may cost us our friendship but I need to tell you I slept with the cop my cop why Kelsey how could you do that to me well he came on to me, and I was drunk. It was before we were even friends, and I was so afraid to tell you. That's it. I'm done with him. I should really hate your guts right now. But you did me a favor. Now I'm sure that I can't trust him. And I think he was using you to get to Howard. Don't you think? Maybe. Anyway. Hose before bros. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>
Hello. Why would anybody want to kill you? What? Your name came up. Howard, stop calling me. Just leave me alone. Why can't you move on? Get over it. Just remember something. I don't want to do this anymore. Stop calling me. I am hanging up now. When I wink, you duck. <laughs>